What I'm going to show you today is a uh, compression test feature of the Autel scanner. Most people know how to do a compression test uh, on a car. You, you pull the plugs, screw a compression tester into the cylinder, and you crank the car. Um, the 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 best way to do it, and the, the the proper way actually, is to have the throttle wide open whenever you do that. And it's tough to do that on a uh, direct injected engine. Or not a direct, not necessarily a direct injected engine, but a uh, throttle by wire or a drive by wire uh, engine. Because if you get in the car and put your foot on the pedal all the way to the floor, <clears throat> unless the computer is happy with other parameters, it's not going to open the throttle all the way. Just because you put the foot on the pedal doesn't mean the throttle goes wide open. Uh, before the car is started in the old days when you had a cable going out to a carburetor or a, a throttle body you could put your foot on the pedal and it would open that throttle body or that carburetor up uh, whether the engine was running or not but nowadays it's actually a wire uh, connected throttle body unless the computer sees the proper inputs when you put your foot on that pedal, all you're doing is telling a potentiometer uh, that the gas pedal is pushed all the way down. And unless the computer decides to open that throttle, it's not going to open it. So to do an accurate compression test would be difficult to do. Whenever you started cranking the engine, uh, the throttle would end up being closed. So there's a feature on the Autel scanner that's pretty cool. And I'll show you. I'll show you what this thing does. So I've already uh, auto detected the the car. It's the V6 model. The V8 is is the same exact way. Okay, we're gonna go diagnosis. Uh, we'll go ahead and do control module. We're gonna do engine control module. Uh, active test, compression test. So the car's not running right now. <coughs> I've went ahead and turned the key on. Okay, so what you're seeing right now, normally to do a compression test, you would put your foot on the gas pedal to open the throttle body or the carburetor all the way up, crank the engine for a few seconds uh, until you got a good reading on your compression gauge. I don't have a compression gauge hooked up, so I'm not going to show you any of that. I'm just going to show you the 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 uh, how to do a compression test on this particular car and a lot of the uh, drive-by-wire um, or throttle-by-wire cars should have this same feature on the scanners um, to be able to do an accurate compression test. So right now you can see that the throttle position is at 30%. Um, I'm going to hit the compression test button down here. And you see that it, ju it just opened the throttle to 100%. And I don't know if you're going to be able to hear the car crank. Uh, we got a nice rain going this morning. So I don't know if you can even hear the rain, but so right now I'm going to hit crank. The car is cranking. And now it quit. Now if you had a compression gauge hooked up to whichever cylinder, um, you'd, you'd have your, uh, your pressure that that cylinder produced. And then you'd take it out, put it in the next cylinder, um, go down here hit compression test then you hit crank again and it cranks the engine for you know I don't know it's probably about three or four seconds and it's going to do that with the throttle position open which is what you want to get an accurate uh, compression test um, and anyway that's pretty much it um, when you get done you're going to unscrew the compression gauge back out of this and you just 
been able to complete a uh, compression test and not even have to get inside the car. Obviously, you'd have the scanner outside under the hood so that you can hit the crank and watch the gauge. And then whenever you switch your uh, your compression tester to the next cylinder, you just hit crank again and you'd go through you know all the cylinders like that to check the compression. Anyway, that's a feature of the MS906 uh, and probably all the Maxxis uh, scanners. I thought it was pretty cool when I saw that uh, feature on here, and I just wanted to, you know, show that to you, so that, uh, you know, anybody out there that's needing to do compression tests on these drive-by-wire cars, the proper way to do it is to be able to open the throttle all the way, and that's really tough to do if you don't have a way to command the throttle open while it's cranking, and they've got that built into the scanner. Anyway, that's all I got.